Good evening and welcome back to Auntie's Garden. Today I'm going to show you some of the items that I'm using to plant my future flower garden. And so just to introduce myself, I am just a new gardener. So everything I'm doing is pretty much the first time. So I've been watching a lot of videos and here goes. So I purchased some soil. It's the Kellogg brand, the Patio Plus, and it's the premium outdoor potting mix for using with um, containers. So I've already poured some in this container. I got this from uh, the dollar store. No, I'm sorry, I got this from the 99 cent store. And it was $2.99 and I just drilled holes in the bottom. I thought it would be a good container for um, a flower bed. So I've already added the soil and I've added, added some of this bone meal and that's here. It's specifically for bulbs. So I've already added that. So I'm going to plant the bulbs first then I'll fill them in with a little soil, and then I'll go ahead and plant some seeds. So in this first container, I'm going to have the caladium plant. I have some tulips there. And um, they're really, really pretty, the yellow and orange. I also have orchids, um, gladiola bulbs, and then the seeds I have are aster, bachelor's button, and um, that's another bachelor's button. So that's what's going to go here in this first container. I also have another container that I'll be doing today. And in this one, I'm going to have these pretty gladiolas, anemones, and then some seeds, Canterbury bells, pinks, candy tuft, and these are morning glories. So I purchased um, the bulbs from various places. I got some from Lowe's. A lot of them came from um, the 99 cent store. Right now here in California, Southern California, I'm in um, growth zone 10B. The bulbs and seeds are just arriving to the 99 cent store. So I picked up a lot of these from there. I did get some things from Walmart as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put these bulbs in and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've already planted in the bulbs. They're going to be in about six to four inches below the top of the soil. I've added the um, bulb food in there as well. And I made sure that I, when I planted them, that these pointy ends, see how they have these pointy ends like here, these are the tulips, um, they're, they're standing straight up. So all of these pointy ends here are straight up. And then I put the caladium plant here. And so now I'm just gonna cover them up with some soil and then I will sprinkle the seeds on and give them some water and then I'll be moving on to the next container. Okay. Okay, so now I have my seeds and I'm just going to do those around the perimeter of the container because I planted most of my bulbs toward the center. And so I have some bachelor's buttons here. Okay. I'm just going to put 
put a few around. Okay. And I also have um, the asters and and I'll put a few of those around there too. And then I'll go ahead and cover them up. Okay, and here are the asters. Just a few. And then I'll go ahead and cover them up. Okay, and all I need to do after this is just water them. Okay, so now for the second container. Okay, sorry about that, covering that up, sorry about that. Okay, so I've just added the gladiolas and the sea, um, not the sea, I'm sorry, the anemones. And so now I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of the bulk food here. to cover these up with some more soil and then I'll put the seeds closer to the top. So I went on and I added all of my seeds. They were so tiny and I've already covered them up but um, I'm going to, just, going to just water these and then after I water them just place them out toward the sun and um, see how they go. I sure I wanted to show you how my lemon bush is doing. I'm going to water it. I try not to overwater it, um, but it's pretty it's pretty um, moist down in here already. So I try not to overwater it. But um, I think it's doing okay. I was a little concerned because the stem used to be all green, but it seems like it's okay. It started turning a little brown. I've never had a lemon bush um, before, and um, so I wasn't sure. But it looks like there's some new leaves coming in here at the top. So I think it's okay. And the leaves seem to be looking okay. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to show you what's inside of these jugs that I planted out um, about a month ago. Uh, let's see if I can do this, but you can kind of see what's going on in the inside. And they are really taking off. Eventually, I'm going to transfer those out. So there's some dill, and um, let's see if I can get this romaine lettuce in there. These are, um, sorry, curly mustards. Um, let's see. Brussels sprouts in there. And um, cilantro is going really slow. Let's see if I can get in there. Yeah, you can kind of see the cilantro in there. Um, I have planted some bare root um, strawberries and they haven't been doing anything. They haven't come up at all. So I'm not sure what's going on, but you know, I'll just keep, keep watering, leave them here in the sun see how they're doing and um, 
Here's some other jugs that I have put out, but I don't think there's too much going on in these at all. I think in here in this white eggplant, you might, I don't know if I can focus that, but I see something in there. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video, taking a look at what's going on in these jugs and my, my little Myler lemon and starting out my flower garden. So my video ended, um, ended up cutting off because my camera died. So I just wanted to come back on and have an ending. And I'm just showing you my watermelon. I've put in some seeds, they've germinated, so they're doing really well. So um, thank you for joining me today. And please like the video and subscribe. Thank you.